Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about an advanced data structure called skip list. So before we go into discussing skip list, let's start by taking a sorted link list. Okay. What's the problem? We'll try to understand the problem first and then try to see where script list is uh, helpful. So this is a sorted link list. You can see uh, each node in the link list has a number and all the numbers are sorted in an ascending order up to one, two, three, four, up till nine. Now, if we have to search in this link list, say we are going to search for six, how will we search? In link list, we cannot jump nodes. It's uh, all the nodes are connected to each other. So if we have to search for six, it has to be in a linear fashion, which means we have to start from the head node. Uh, the head node is one. Is one equal to six? No. So we move to the next node. Is two equal to six? No. We move to the next node, right? And like this, we keep on searching for every element till the time we find six is six equal to the number six that we are searching for yes so we have found the number six in the linked list what is the time complexity of this operation say if you had to search for nine you have to traverse all the nine nodes right so the time complexity is o of n now o of n is the time complexity uh, for uh, searching or access or insertion or deletion in a normal linked list, in a sorted linked list also. Can we improve this? Can we do a search or insert or delete in a uh, linked list which is with less than O of n time complexity? Let's see that. What if we, so this is uh, the normal linked list, right? But if we have to do a fast searching or less than O of n time complexity, we have to definitely be able to jump nodes, right? We, if you have to search for six, if we have to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, then we, we cannot, we, it will always be O of N. So we definitely need a way to jump from one to, if six, then good, but at least skip some nodes. To do that, why don't we create an express lane? So this becomes your normal lane in the linked list, and this becomes your express lane. Express lane, primarily is going to help us to find or search for the number faster. So if we have to, in this case, this is the skip list. So you will understand that the complexity is not O of n here, it is much lesser. So if we have to search for the element 6 in this skip list, how will we start? We always start from the head of the express lane, right? So head of the express lane is, all, is also one, same as the normal lane. But now, where do we go? Do we go to 5 or do we go to 1 below? That will be determined whether the number that we are searching is less than or greater than the next element in the express lane. So we are searching for 6. Is 6 greater or less than 5, which is the next element in the express lane? 6 is obviously greater than 5. So since 6 is greater than 5, for sure 6 is not present between 1 and 5. So 2, 3, 4, none of those are 6. Reason being, this is a sorted linked list. So if the next element in the express lane is also less than the number that we are searching for, we'll go to the next element in the express lane itself, right? So let's go to the next element. So now the next element is 5. Is 5 equal to 6? No. Now we check the next element in the express lane again. Next element in the express lane is 9. Is 9 less than or greater than 6? 9 is greater than 6, right? So 9 is greater than 6, but 5 is less than 6. So definitely 6 is within 5 and 9 somewhere, right? So since that is the case, the next, the value of the next node in the express lane is greater than the number that we are searching. So now we are going to go to the normal lane. So 5 is already not uh, equal to 6. So let's go to the next node. So now we are coming to 6. Is 6 equal to the number that we are searching 6? Yes. So we have found six. What is the complexity? So if in this case, if uh, best case, what if we had to search for five or say if we had to search for if there were millions of nodes, what would be the time complexity here? We remember we have only searched for square root of the number of nodes in the normal lane. So the complexity for two lanes is O of square root of n, right? And if we have to improve this even further, we can obviously keep on adding more express lanes on top of that, right? Here we have only added one express lane, so which makes the entire linked list two lane linked list. 
but we can obviously keep on adding on top of uh, the linked list depending on the variations of how many numbers do we want to choose. So here we have taken three numbers, the next lane can consist of two numbers or in a way like one of the numbers can be one, three uh, and say uh, nine, right? Or we can only take one and three, something like that. So the reason is we, we always have to figure out a way where we uh, can search for a number or insert a number which is average case comes to be O of log n. So which is much faster than O of n. That is skip list. That is what is advantageous to us. So the search, insert, delete, all of them are log of n time complexity in an average case, which is which is very good uh, for a list operation. Uh, and obviously you can understand that this, all the operations for searching or finding a node, uh, the possibility of the worst case also actually decreases because in the normal lane, if you are searching for nine, then you have to search for all of them. In worst case, it comes to be O of n, right? But here in the worst case also, it is better than the worst case of a normal lane. So there are multiple advantages to using a skip list. But if you are already understanding, one of the downside is that yes, you are going to take on more space. So in this case, that you have taken up three more nodes, you have added three more nodes, right? So your space complexity has increased, uh, has increased by O of square root of n. But if you do a trade off, depending on what your need is, uh, O of square, square root of n increase in space complexity is okay as compared to O of square root of n that is decreasing from O of n time complexity, which is much better, right? So it, that trade off makes sense. So that's an advan uh, uh, advantage of uh, skip list, but uh, yeah, the space complexity taking more is one of the disadvantages. So depending on what your use case is, you can choose to implement skip list in your uh, functions or in your programs if that is needed. Uh, skip list in real world is used in multiple places. One of the famous areas where it is used is if you are aware of Redis. Uh, Redis is a key value store and that uses skip list in its internal implementation to, to map the key values uh, for giving you a faster search access, right? So that's skip list for you. Hopefully this was useful.